Israel Hitech is renowned worldwide. The Hitech industry forwards the economy. It plays an important part in exports, the economy, and the fortitude of the State of Israel. But it was not always the case. In the 1970s and 1980s, the high-tech industry was different from how we know it today. The field of technology was led by computerized communication, and the State of Israel was not considered to have special abilities in that field. The change begins with two brothers, who were thought to be the founding fathers of high-tech in Israel, Yuda and Zohar Zisabel. Yudan and Zohar studied at the Technion and received degrees from the Faculty of Electrical and Computers Engineering and later on MBAs from Tel Aviv University. In the middle of the 70s, Yuda founded the Binut Company for the marketing of data communications products, while Zohar was involved in research and development in the field of electronics for a special unit of the Department of Defense. For his endeavors, he was awarded the Israel Defense Prize. In 1978, I got to the Yichida. Zohar was already known as a meteor. I had In the early 1980s, with youthfulness and daring, they founded Rad Data Communications with the aim of developing unique products and to compete with giant companies in the global market. Together, they created a miniature modem that was revolutionary and resulted in resounding economic success. The innovative ideas inspired the founding of additional startup companies, and Yuda and Zohar became the first serial entrepreneurs of the State of Israel. And Rad is considered an entrepreneurial hub. Today, the group employs 4,500 workers and exports to 160 countries and is extremely proud of being the source of more than 50 successful serial entrepreneurs. The brothers are not limited to the fields of communication and computers. Yuda is active in the field of biotechnology and biomedical technology. He established, together with Professor Navar Zesapel, the Neurim Pharmaceuticals Company and the Rad Biomed Accelerator. Lately, Zohar has been active in the field of AI. In 1989, Yuda and Zohar believe that quality high-tech is a result of quality manpower and training engineers is the key for high-tech. They invest in various public philanthropic enterprises and they work tirelessly and in different ways to increase the numbers of outstanding engineers and to close social gaps. The From 3 to 5 program that they established helps more than 2,000 pupils a year to move from failure in math to success in the five points math matriculation. Yuda and Zohar, from the beginning of the journey, we realized that the high-tech in Israel is not only in the development of markets, but also in the development of mandates in the high level. And both of them have a project called the Aufakim to High-Tech, which was the aim to bring young people from the periphery to come to study in the technology. In 1998, all experts are experts for things that did happen. You don't have experts for things that may happen. They are experts for things that may happen. And I really appreciate very much your contribution. In the 2000s, Yuda and Zohar foresee the strategic importance of nanotechnology and contribute to the establishment of a center for nanoelectronics at the Technion named for their parents Sarah and Moshe Zisabel. 
In 2019, they contributed an additional large donation to establish the Building for Electrical Engineering and Computers, named for Yuda and Zohar Zisabel, an additional step in the realization of the dream of training engineers in the fields of elite technology. I think this is one of the most important examples of the technology that has been used to build their own country. אבל באותו זמן הם לא שכחו את הטכניון. התרומה הראשונה שלהם, הגדולה, בניין משה ושרה זיסאפל, לננו טכנולוגיה, הייתה במבט לאחור פרדיים שיפט. אני בטוח שהבניין החדש של הנדסת חשמל ומחשבים יביא לתוצאות דומות. כך שיהודה וזוהר הם לא רק יזמים ברוכי כישרון, הם גם אנשים אשר צופים את העתיד ויכולים לחזות את העתיד. For their huge contribution to the country and to society, the Zisabel brothers won esteem and many prizes. Among them, the Entrepreneurial Prize from Tel Aviv University and an honorary doctorate from the Technion. Yuda and Zor said in the past that the Technion had an important role in their success. There is no doubt that they constitute a source of pride and inspiration for us. There is no one more worthy of esteem for their contribution to Israeli high-tech, education, bridging social gaps, innovation, and the advancement of Israeli high-tech to the front stage of the world. Yudha and Zohar are the most important. The technology is the most important and unique thing that is created by the technology. It is created by the technology of life for the technology. ועד היום קיבלו אותו בסך הכל 16 זוכים. קשה לי לדמיין זוכים מתאימים יותר מכם לאות היוקרתי הזה, אז ברכות ותודה לכם מקרב לב, תודה לכם, תודה למשפחות, תודה לפקולטה להנדסת חשמל ומחשבים על שם ארנה ואנדרו ויטרבי, שממשיכה להיות לכם בית. תודה על התמיכה, על השותפות ועל החברות.